The plastic in this container is, is a kind of plastic we call a thermoplastic. It started life as a smaller chunk of plastic and then it was warmed up and it was stretched and then allowed to cool into this particular shape that it has. But the molecules remember their original shape and I can make them shrink back to something approximating the original size by adding some heat and then the molecules will shrink up. And, and you can do this with any container like this. This is kind of just a, a little plastic container. It's number one plastic and this contained, I think it contained like mini cinnamon rolls at some point. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut a small piece of plastic out of the base here. I'm just gonna cut myself a small square. Okay. And it's important to cut out a piece that's separate from the main body because that way you don't have edges to contend with. And the edges here have some structure and that's going to inhibit the shrinking. So now I've got a piece of plastic and I'm going to write on this. Now notice the plastic is clear right now. And I'm going to mark the original size of the square. Okay, just so we can watch the size change. Okay. So, there's our square of plastic. I'm going to bring in a heat gun. Give it a little bit of heat. I'm getting a little curling here. So I'm gonna see if I can flatten this out. There we go. And keep gently warming it. And as I do that, it gets smaller and also it gets whiter. And this is a version, you can buy little crafty things called shrinky dinks. And this is just the version of shrinky dinks that you can do with a piece of plastic that you're probably just recycling. And we're recycling it here, we're just using it for another purpose. Reusing is recycling. Another change you can see is this. This is much more rigid than when we started. And that's just because it got a little bit thicker. The original plastic is pretty bendy. This is not bendy at all.